टेस्टिंग है ऑन करके रिकॉर्डिंग ऑन करिए ओके सर सो गुड इवनिंग वन एंड ऑल दिस साइड अगेन राहुल पेठे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक व्हिच इज अ वेरी जनरल टॉपिक बट इट्स सम सम सॉर्ट ऑफ इनोवेटिव and i can say that uh, informative session that is iot based services using measuring sensors and their implementations we'll share you some sort of uh, different thing which is related to the iot as i say that internet of things is uh, networking to connect people things applications and data through the internet it means if i need to check the temperature of this particular room then i can check it through by using mobile or if i can use any iot device or any sensor i can say that lm35 dst11 such type of sensors and if it can be access <clears throat> through cloud then i can say that this is nothing but your internet of things <clears throat> number of mobile devices exceed the number of people on earth nowadays as we know that uh, everything is from the smart watch from the home automation agriculture mobile phone everything will become change and 50 billions of things connected to the internet by 2022 this is the magic of iot and this is the magic of concepts of iot as we uh, we are very much aware about that services so what we have we have a raw sensor data as we have telematic itself so as we have a raw sensor data and that data we need to operate and control that information through by using cloud computing i can say that big data so in previous session we were discuss about that big data how much the data we required which type of data we of access so influence of iot is a people we are influencer influencer it means we addicted uh, through this particular internet of things uh, uh, services then process as we know that about the agriculture is one of the farming process is one of the process banking is a process uh, like i can say that internet service providing is a process so more ta complex task can be accomplished in a lesser time is a way we can do we know that we have to transfer a money from one person to another person through one account to another account that is again a possible by using this particular internet of things <clears throat> huge of data we can carry and things becomes more controlled as we know that control it can be controlled so economic impact i can say that corporate profit by 21% by 2022 asset utilization we can see 2.5 trillions of uh, dollar employee productivity supply chain and logistics customer experience and innovative so as in last session we were discuss about that application of uh, that internet of things and advanced uh, system so ar augmented reality and virtual reality using ui uh, ux is one of the things which can be we can use in such type of innovative um, services so economic impact for by using machine to machine person to person and person to machine or machine to person we can say that atm is a machine and person we can uh, collect the amount or withdraw the amount so that can be possible by using such economic impact of iot that is internet of things as we know very well about that there, there are many applications that security transportation health care these are the application uh, we observed now a day in real time monitoring systems uh, like these are the things which can we know very well about that as we know that uh, fast track is one of the example utilities i can say that measurement provision provising billing these are the things gas water electricity we know very well that utility we can use manufacturing is the monitoring and automation of the production chain is a manufacturing is a part of agriculture itself as we know that if we need to observe or uh, control on agriculture that can be possible by using auto, uh, like iot application supply and provisioning is the foreign supply foreign supply distribution of monitoring and vendoring machines as i know about that a uh, tractor is one of the example and that can be controlled and that can be properly uh, managed uh, through uh, iot itself then facility management as we know that home building campus automation agriculture automation farming automation that uh, is again a part of application of iot that we were already discussed so as i say that I hope i am audible audience yes sir, sir. yeah 
please. Thank you. So which type of services we require? I can say that which companies will get provide such services. I can say that BSP is the business service provider, business solution provider. Uh, if anyone have any doubt and question, they can ask. So we can see the companies which are uh, per, per, per particularly providers are provide the service, system integrator and IoT solution providers for enterprises. We can see the IBM, Accenture, Deloitte, HP. Uh, these are the service provider. We can use a network, different, different network as uh, connect the devices uh, and collect the data. And we can statistics that particular data. For that purpose, we require strong network. So network operator, communication service providers and transport information providers are nothing but your Sprint, Verizon, Cisco, Vodafone, AT&T. These are the uh, like network provider, which is a part of your IoT. About the software, as I know that we require a software as if I need to design a hardware and then we uh, uh, use it for a particular application for home automation, for agriculture, for banking purpose. So there are specific software and with, there are specific uh, hardware are required and typical operating systems are required uh, for that particular uh, device or hardware. So Oracle, Google, Honeywell, Samsung, uh, Qualcomm, SAP, VMware, General Electric, these are the software provider and the hardware manufacturer of GPS chips, wireless sensors, variable devices, actuators, and embedded hardware devices is one of the most important factor for IoT farming system or the software hardware based IoT uh, farming system is called Qualcomm is one of the hardware provider, Synnex, Sixnex, Samsung, uh, Sira. Then Sony, LG, Motorola, Texas are nothing but your hardware provider. So by using this all things, we can say that service, we can say that network, we can say that software and hardware. We can design such device which will be used for particularly a uh, particular application. Now, that particular application, I can say that is uh, related to the reality it means augment, augment reality so ar is a technology that surprises the user real world view it means crop disease we can identify the crop we can provide the proper solution and with the computer generated means virtual text or image of on the user's viewing screen or monitor i can say that monitor mobile is a device we can say that helmet face mask is a, a part of AR. Glasses are the part of AR. Uh, Google's is again, uh, HMD is a head mounted display, window, windshield. These are the real time uh, devices which can identify all the things which will be a part of that particular IoT with respect to AR is a most important factor. So virtual text or image, can be some uh, superimpose on selected object. For example, if I need to uh, identify the crop and which type of disease it have, so through this particular image, I can get complete statistical information on a, a screen or a monitor, which is useful for the farmer. And that farmer will protect that particular seed or a plant through that particular disease. So this is a magic of augmented reality. In previous lecture, we were discussed about that IoT. In this itself, we have we were discussed few slides on IoT. But IoT is only to design a hardware, sense the data, and then provide that information at the end. But for the more accurate output, we require AR augmented reality is a factor. So I can say that I have a AR that it is a, a like context aware computing system for AR user, the real world and the virtual object object coexists coexist on the same view. It means I have a mobile, an example. So in a front view, I can see the mobile itself. And in a rear view, I can also see that particular complete information that is a part of your smartphone and the uh, like uh, ar uh, reality that can be possible in a real world 
So this is, these are the examples. As we say that, here example, we can see the Mona Lisa picture. So we can get the complete information about that Mona Lisa picture. Artist who is the artist here, that information is available. It means if in place of this Mona Lisa picture, if there is any crop which have a, some sort of disease, we'll get the information about that particular disease. We'll get the information about the diagnosis, which type of uh, uh, bacterial information it have that can be possible. So health monitoring is one of the factor which is innovative things is nowadays. So this is about the start, short story of AR and VR. In 1901, author L. Frank Baum uh, first mentioned um, the idea of character marker. Then 1989, virtual reality. Then 1990, that is nothing but your augmented reality. This is a simple story and which can correlate that particular augmented reality uh, with a particular with IoT, and then we'll get the complete database, telemetric database. I can say that big data, and then statistical data with their solution on a single click. What is nothing but a part of your? Uh, I can say that uh, AR and VR. So what is the difference of AR and VR? So AR is the augment, augmented reality. Seems like a very old technology. See. As I see that, this one is our old, uh, I can say, uh, technology, but it has some sort of very informative uh, information. But it recently, it become fully implemented and reliable. So why it will get reliable? Because it have a higher resolution cameras on smart devices enable accurate image and object identification. Nowadays, we know very well about that in uh, our mobile itself, there are multiple options of a camera, for example, portrait, for example, pano, for example, cinematic, small, for example, slow motion, for example, time lapse. These are the examples and each and every uh, uh, features have their own different, different options. Mean natural light, I can say that, then it can be control light. Okay, these are the things it is possible by using um, a particularly uh, a smartphone, by using a high resolution camera. And that accurate image will get identify the problem, the uh, like back image and the front image. We can differentiate with this particular back image and front image. And nowadays we know very well about the there are uh, enhanced processing capabilities of a, a CPU. And that is nothing but your graphical user interface CPUs are there which can enable the fast and reliable image processing, object identification, and feature extraction. These are the most important factor for agriculture purpose, which will be helpful uh, for uh, such type of farming. So <clears throat> it have uh, some sort of large memory, fast input and output processing, high definition display, which get the all information properly, Broadband wireless and wire networking and in a small size itself. So this is uh, augmented reality uh, feature. So uh, this is a part of your uh, future of AR where more smart devices type smartphone, <coughs> smart devices, smart glasses, smart watches, wearable IoT devices, and will only get better, faster, more accurate, more informative, lower uh, power consuming, longer lifeline, easier to use, more portable, cheaper, more function and features, more reliable, more durable are the part of nothing but your AR and will get the complete information on a single click. Now we are talking about that AR already. What about the VR is the virtual reality. So VR users will be fully impaced uh, into the artificial uh, in environment means artificial in environment where is nothing but your animated environment. So we can correlate animated environment with the uh, virtual reality with the, I can say that augmented reality and the data which is available on uh, IoT real time data. For example, if the doctor wants to diagnose any particular uh, uh, patient. So what I need, I need a database which can be trained by our machine learning 
and then that particular train data will compare with the input data will get the complete information which is a by using some hardware device and that diagnose result is available at the output end of doctor now technical information is uh, accessed by using a technical person but the doctor required a particularly uh, language which is a uh, part of doctor language or the patient can easily understand for that purpose we require to compare both the information and get the output in a uh, we can say that um, uh, a layman language <clears throat> so i can say a game playing space are commonly vr space that is nothing but your animated place user or player will commonly use a avatar to exit and impact inside in vr space now what do we know very well about that avatar is all, also available in our uh, mobile itself we can make our avatar uh, as per our requirement so users views in a vr is different from the real environment fantasies illusions are easy to create in virtual world so this is again a part of your virtual reality and augmented reality and then correlate this particular virtual reality and augmented reality with the iot data and get the output so ar is a mixture of real time and virtual reality ar users are able to obtain useful information and location or object if i know that i need to identify the crop then their location their information then that all the information can interact with virtual content in the real world and get the proper output as per our requirement ar user can distinguish the superimposed virtual image itself so this is what this is a comparison <clears throat> and then we can compare a particular perfect data with the input data and then get the output so i can say that the ar users may be able to turn on and turn off selected ar function which may be really related to the certain object it com it comparison to ar vr users commonly feels less separated from the real world fantasies and illusions can be created and superimposed on a real world views so this is a difference of ar and vr now we'll go to the particularly a definition by paul milgram where we have a real environment then that real environment with mixed reality with the augmented reality will compose a virtual based on a reality and compose reality based on the virtual so this is two different thing will first compose virtual based on the reality and then will compose reality based on the virtual so we, here we have a real infer, environment here we have a, in, a virtual environment here we have a train data and this is nothing but a real information then we can compare this particular two things and get the output so we'll get the proper diagnosis proper information which is a part of this particular uh, 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 that particular uh, data which we use for that particularly uh, uh output of that particular data so you can see here ar is a 3d image a real time interaction and combination of real world and the virtual reality is complete definition of ar where we have a real environment as well as the virtual environment we can access a 3d information we can access the combination of a real world and the virtual world and then we'll get the output so on with that particular output we can implement whatever the characteristics we required now the characteristics and the classification of that particular uh, information ar classifications are sensor based ar gps gyro sensor accelerometer example lidar is one of the example we can get the 3d information as we see we can search any one on a, a google then we'll get the three dimensional view by using lidar itself so lyar is one of the example wikitube is one of the example sekai cam is one of the example for sensor which can access the proper 3d image and can be uh, merged with the virtual and real environment second classification is nothing but your vision based ar computer vision open graphics library open gl is one of the vision 
and there are examples of vuforia metavia total impression ar toolkit are the examples of vision based ar now why we are talking about this thing sensors and vision based ar because in uh, agriculture thing okay we cannot access uh, but, uh, continuously 24 by 7 but it can be possible by using iot it can be possible by using such a type of sensors which are nothing but a gps gyro sensor and accelerometer and then we'll get the three dimensional image and that three dimensional image will uh, access uh, can get the proper output by using this particular vr then hybrid tracking based on ar is nothing but a vision plus sensor vision which is nothing but your a computer vision by using vuforia total impression impression of impression of ar, AR toolkit and the inputs by using your sensors this is nothing but your outdoor ar and we'll get the lidar based three dimensional view is a classification of ar so ar technologies components we can see here content provider uh, that particularly server that content provider server will provide the file data format 3d graphical assets geographic information text image movies ar content con containers point of inter interest information this information is available in a server it that server either by using wire and wireless protocol interface with the detecting detection and tracking rendering and interaction now what about the detection and tracking is nothing but a recognition of that particular in data now as i know that i need to recognize a leaf or i need to recognize a cotton i need to recognize an animal so computer vision can recognize and then markers and features will get mark at particular disease or the area where this is get that particular apple or fruit or anything is get affected so tracking sensors camera api are the part of recognition sin part of that's the, the users the software framework are nothing but your recognition and virtualization now that particular recognize the data can be visualized on by using computer graphics video compression depth com composition by using rendering that particularly application program or browsers by using G ui okay yeah I, we know that about that interaction by using ui gesture voice haptics are the interaction tool can be useful so this is a technology which have a complete input real world and the virtual world will get a complete rec recognition visualization and interaction by using such following complete uh, details and user can get complete data or complete information on a single click so this is a uh, ar technological component i can say that ar workflow augmented reality workflow by using detection and tracking that if i know that this is apple then that that can be detected by using our camera whatever the content information i have i can say that content information i can say if i know that this is apple so we can write it down as an apple okay and then if it is diagnosis apple or the real apple or the fresh apple we can say then rendering that particular uh, information and give it to the user user will get input that is interaction no i don't want like this particular apple or i don't want to purchase that particular apple because it is particularly harmful or some sort of this is is there so that particular input can be give it by using this particular and that interaction with rendering and again that to the visual feedback to the user this is complete a uh, flow of uh, ar so ar process by using image acquisition feature extraction feature matching geometric virtualized ver verification and associate information retrieval so as i already told told you about that i need to go for an agriculture purpose so for that purpose i sh it should be image acquisition and on the basis of image should be identify the feature of that particular image or e extract that particular border or extract that particular leaf area color and everything 
feature matching with your database. As we know that the, we have a, a trained database that match with that particular real time database. Geometric verification, it can be verified that particular data is from this which location and associated information retrieval. The whatever the information which we have inside our systems in our server that can be retrieved and get the information. Example, as we say here, we can catch the image by using mobile. Then that can be processed by using AR process in a smart device. Image acquisition is first thing. Image after image acquisition, it can be identify the feature. It's a tall building. Then that particular wireless or wire network by using protocol, which is get match with our database. Database, we will get match with the feature matching, geometric virtu virtualization. Then we have a database inside this particular building, which can be matched with this particular catch image. And then it can be sent, means its name is nothing but your soul tower. Ours is nothing but a 10 to 23. Then Admissions are nothing but your nine WCM. So this is information is available in our database, which can be send it on this particular again on a output device. And that output device may be wire or wireless network by using protocol. Numerous protocols are there through which we can uh, share that information. It means first we catch the image. That image will get processed by using our system, that smart devices, image acquisition, that image acquisition will compare with our database, nothing but your feature extraction. Feature extraction will get matching the information through with the database, their geometric information, their complete information, associated information retrieval, and then give it to the output. So this is a complete way of uh, AR process, augmented reality process. So I can say one by one, image acquisition is a process of retrieving an image from AR camera. We have a mobile, we can just catch the image. Then feature extraction based on the initial set of measured data, whatever the database we have inside our system. The extraction process generates information, non-redundant values to facilitate the subsequent feature learning and generalization steps can be possible by using such type of information is uh, image ex uh, extraction. After image extraction, we have a feature matching. As you know that leaf is a particularly uh, image, so we can extract or match the database with our uh, database. So it can be indicated that this is nothing but a leaf. I can catch the image of an ample, so it can be extract and matching up with our database. So process of computing abstraction of the image information and make a local decision is, is there is any image feature if not, then it cannot provide that particular information. If it is, then it can provide that information. So this is nothing but a feature matching. Then geometric information from where we caught, catch that particular data or catch that particular image. So identification process of finding geometrically related image in the image data set, which is subset of the overall AR image database. So it can be possible by using geometric information is one of the thing. And then nothing but your associated information travel. Searching and retrieving metadata takes content-based indexing information of the identified image object. So there are multiple uh, information can be uh, accessed. So I can say that here feature extraction by using grayscale image generation. IIG are nothing but your integral image generation. RMG is nothing but your response map generation. IPD are the interact point in, in detection and orientation assignment. These are the feature extraction uh, uh, process are most important in by using IoT and other things and the description extraction. So I can say here image acquisition is a first stage where we can say that grayscale image generation is point. As we see here, we have a image color image then it can be converted into the grayscale by using w by h pixels value. Then it, it's nothing but your feature extraction are the point. That step two is integral image generation. Then step three in image extraction are nothing but your response map generation. Step four is nothing but your interact point detection. Then for example, we can 
we have that particular information orientation assignments and then description extraction this complete is a part of your image extraction and then match with this particular image uh, feature matching is a process and then that process are a part of completely extraction process so we can see discuss about that gig grayscale image extraction iig integral image extraction this is a telematrix system where we can get the output uh, rmg is a response map the ipd is an track point detection and that complete database is interact and they get the output so uh, feature extraction as i see here in, in insert the point as the original image then it get convert into the grayscale image then it can be identify the insert in, interest point which of the interest point the name is the interest point that uh, that particularly open system is the interest point and then on the basis of that it can provide the description this is coca cola or some sort of uh, information whatever the available in our system and that information will get uh, detect that particular feature so feature extraction by using qualification of description noise scale rotations etc kind of descriptions are corner blob regions so there are multiple ways as i see that i need to catch the image of my face so corner blob and region are the part of nothing but your feature extraction as i see that block detections are nothing but your log laplacian uh, gaussian uh, then i can say that block detection by using the block as i see here we have a sunflower then it can be identify detect the particular sunflower image properly how many sunflower sunflower are there it can catch and get the information of a sunflower as an the it cannot catch the leaf information it cannot catch the other hilly area information it may not catch the any information but it can catch the particularly uh, information of a sunflower so that can be possible i can say that block detection is the process of detecting detecting the block in the image the region of the image that con, uh, constant approximately image properties which type of image hair color eyes color eyes borders are the nothing but your blobs is possible then that typical feature extraction techniques are nothing but a hard feature scale inter invariant feature transformation hog histogram of orientation gradient then speeded up robust feature these are the feature extraction techniques are most uh, mostly used in nothing but your ar so what exactly about that a scale invariant feature transformation these are the points which are related to the uh, scale environment uh, feature uh, extraction then scale environment feature transform is a four step scale extreme detection then i can say that key point localization and filtering then orientation assignment descriptor construction are the part of nothing but your uh, sift i can go for the nothing but your speeded up robust feature where we have uh, improved the speed of a uh, sifc ft S U R F algorithm is based on the same algorithm principle these are the points which are most important but uh, uh, these uh, the depth steps are most important uh, which type of uh, image we can uh, match or detect that particular information so this is a point we can say here we have we have example handed ar display smartphone initially uh, commercial su uh, success of ar model powerful computing capabilities good camera and display and portability so these are the things and we'll get the output of, of that particularly on a camera and their information and everything is possible eye glasses are the example uh, of the display these are the example of eye glasses i can say that google glass uh, visix m100 is nothing but your eye glass where it can provide the complete you know, information uh, optivent vent meta space glasses telepathy recon jet glass up these are the uh, eye glasses ar based eye glasses see he, these are the example of eye glasses it can be also detect the crop information it can also detect the complete information of farming which type of farming it is which type of uh, fertilizer it required which type of uh, crop disease are there that can be possible i can say that head mounted display also is one of the example I, this is nothing but a head mounted display 
that is HMD is mobile AR device that can be provide the immersive AR experience as used in the aircraft maintenance aviation itself. Uh, then next we have a uh, cloud cooperative computing. All objects information uh, cannot be stored on the AR device. So we require the database which can be stored in that particular cloud or uh, we'll use that particular cloud for the further purpose. Cloud offloading is visualization allows the cloud server vendor itself. So we can use that particular data on a cloud. We can retrieve that data. We can use it for the statistics. For example, weather monitoring, for example, flood monitoring, for example, any weather information can be possible. So that can be possible by using cloud offloading itself. So this is one of the example. I can say that adaptive cloud offloading parameters are network condition, cloud server status, energy status of the air device. These are the points. And lastly, we will we are going to discuss about that uh, um, the application of this particular AR applications. Uh, architecture is the planning of building and landscape, uh, rebuilding of rains. Archaeological information overlaid landscape scanning itself are the example of AR application. Art and performance are the part of holographic and 3D design assistance, animation design assistant, uh, musical note assistance, we were already discussed last lecture itself, sound coordination services. Image and sound coordination services are the arts and performance AR applications. Commerce applications are nothing but your help select product in catalog. As I know that I have a catalog of fruit, I have a catalog of any seed, I have a catalog of any leaf type, so we can uh, get the information. Finding product information about a product or object. Real-time stock and sale informations. As I know that I need to uh, like use for the particularly future, so I need to maintain the stock and sale information that, uh, particularly on the commerce itself. Education are the part student customize assistant text, graphics, video, and audio supports. Interactive computer simulated experience of historical events and exploring are the example or the application of uh, augment, augmented reality. Medical science engineering is a part of, again, the reality of uh, application of AR. Health scanning of patient virtual sign, medical image processing that CAT scan, MRI, uh, any type of systems that can be fused and then their information is available and then doctor can the diagnose properly by using uh, like without um, operating a patient that can be also possible. Robotic surgery supports as we know that and last lecture we were discussed about that particular point. Anesthesia procedure report can be possible. So, uh, that can be possible by using a medical science and engineering in the AR application. Military and disaster management can be possible. Last in last lecture about that land level monitoring, water quality maintenance. So military compact training, situational awareness assistant information, theater C2 means command and control planning on evaluation. Disaster management procedure and location guidance. There are multiple numerous examples nowadays about that drone is one of the example. Drone farming is one of the examples. The animal controlling is one of the examples. And we know that about that the uh, different animals like in, in, in a particularly farming itself. So how to control that particular animal. Then disaster manager procedure and location guidance is one of the example of AR that is augmented reality application using, uh, we can say that I know about that IoT itself in uh, agriculture and other thing itself. So sport applications are nothing but your entertainment, game, play, assistant information, football, first down line, tennis ball line, crossing uh, can be possible. Nowadays, uh, you know, we know about that IPL itself in, in a recent, we got the complete information by using a third umpire, whether it is decided or decision by uh, umpire on a ground, ground umpire that can be changed because of the AR application itself. Game rule guidance information that can be possible. Team objective guidance information, commercial advertisement overload, overland and real time onto the user view itself can be possible by using AR that is augmented reality.
इवन टूरिज्म ऑल्सो गाइडेंस ऑफ हिस्टोरिकल इवेंट्स प्लेसेस एंड ऑब्जेक्ट टूर कोर्सेस होटल और मोटल रेस्टोरेंट एंड रेस्टरूम वी नो अबाउट दैट मेक माई ट्रिप कैन प्रोवाइड ऑल दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन नेविगेशन इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑल दिस कैन बी पॉसिबल बाई यूजिंग ऑगमेंटेड रियालिटी ट्रांसलेशन एंड इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ फॉरन लैंग्वेज वॉइस टेक्स साइन एंड um minus itself we know that about that if we'll go in uh, uh, the another country then the language and other things can be very hard to understand so that can be possible by using this ar uh, augmented reality um, application ar support you voice translation sounds output alexa is one of the example into the foreign language alexa is one of the good example now a day we know that google Map is again provide all the information we can take right, we can take left, or the information by using AR itself. Transportation, transportation is the navigation information display on automobile uh, windshield is one of the example as I already uh, like put up the point about this transportation itself. Accident prevention information and alarm is nowadays uh, most important. As we know that recently, Alcazar. If we'll put up the examples, numerous applications uh, based sensors are available in this Alcazar, and then uh, the 3D view of your uh, vehicle, 3D view of your complete information of vehicle can be possible. Uh, we cannot uh, like without taking a reverse gear, we'll get the information of a back side of all the uh, um, vehicle or other things can be possible by using this particular. AR augmented reality application. AR business model, as we already discussed about that, uh, the IoT business model. So AR business models are AR platform provide the AR foundations and tools boxes provided custom services. For example, uh, Viewphoria, Misho, Qualcomm, uh, AR product and AR games develop uh, and market their own exclusive AR product. That is nothing but a Sony, Microsoft. these are the ar product device um, uh, companies product types or book games and other thing custom branded app applications are by using company that is nothing but a gravity jack apps shaker that work directly with brand brand marketers and agencies allow marketers uh, to combine one of uh, kind of customer ar experience servicing 3d modeling interact integration with other software and platform itself industry specific i can say that virtual uh, vertical ar solutions are serve niche uh, business vertical example luxury retail medical services the uh, pharmaceutical companies these are the things are can be possible by using holitson or uh, the company so these uh, points which are the things which is a part of your uh, business model self services uh, do it yourself are again a, a, a platform which is available zapper is one of the platform layer is an another platform uh, aura spa is one of the platform offer the content in management tool uh, provide a simple experience like launching a single video or simple animation video provide an environmental or to test or create a simple ar experience can be possible by using ar model so this is a uh, simple uh, example and detail information about that iot ar uh, information uh, with the telematric even the services which is a part of uh, ar uh, system as i already put up the iot based services using measuring sensors and implementation can possible so there are a numerous way there are numerous examples are there so this is from my side various uh, detail i already catch and uh, i already have this type of uh, courses uh, as i uh, started in this area itself so these are the uh, courses uh, i put up uh, for engineering students raspberry pi programming platform sensors rfid shield board this is a programming board then sensor and rfid shield board is one of the thing these are the different different sensors lora system with router and gateway is one of the example then automotive obd development and simulation platform for telematic iot itself we'll get the complete information we can see here the dashboard where we have a complete information of the data as i say that augmented reality iot development platform a smart cities development kit ble is a uh, part wifi iot starter learning kit is one of the thing 
sensor and RFID shield board, LoRa system. These are the courses we offered to the students. These are the courses are part of uh, uh, to the students and target audience. We can see here course offered by using such thing as nothing but your IoT system and IoT embedded system and IoT IoT communication network and protocols. These are the uh, complete courses we offer uh, to the students. So this is uh, complete information related to the, um, I can say that IR and VR based uh, system. Uh, if anyone have any doubt or question, they can ask. This is from my side. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ankur sir. And thank you all the participants, who, those who uh, listen carefully and patiently. Uh, any question or any doubt, if you have, you can ask. Chatbox yes. on career, Rohitji. Yeah, sir, we definitely will send a PPT through this particular uh, uh, sir organizer. And thank you very much for your point that put up as an, a nice presentation. Hope it is, um, as of now, any utility is being used by farming community. Of course, there are so many utilities are used by farming uh, community. For example, disease, dete disease detection is one of the point is uh, uh, used by farming farm itself. What is GPS and GIS? That is nothing but your, uh, Guy, this is a particularly I can say that uh, uh, graphical uh, um, we can say that geographical uh, location we can identify by using this particular uh, technology. Uh, which type of plantation we need to do? We ty which type of uh, uh, seeding we require? Which type of fertilizer we require can be possible by using GPS and GIS uh, facilities? Can we use AR uh, for water stress detections and of plant? Of course, by using soil sensor. Yesterday I already put up about this example related to the water uh, system monitoring and other thing. Uh, that can be possible by using this particularly AR plants, uh, uh, water stress detection and uh, of plant itself. It is very informative uh, or uh, research based area. We can do that also. Uh, some free AR model for farming. Yes, of course, there are that I already put up in my presentation in previous uh, slides. That is nothing but a few few models that are available. Uh, uh, we can say that freely available uh, so that we can use that is available. Uh, thank you, for Vinod Kumar, sir. Mm, thank you, Thakur, sir. And uh, what, what, what machine language would you suggest to agri uh, graduates to learn? See, if we need to design a prototype model, then we can possible by using some sort of Python and other language, it can be possible to design a hardware. And then after that, uh, the GUI based uh, MATLAB and other things is uh, possible. And then we can interact with the machine learning and the deep learning. And that can be possible. This is complete package. It is not possible by using single language. It, it required a multiple uh, uh, language, and that can be possible. Uh, thank you very much, Kote uh, Swara sir, uh, Dilip Kumar. Is this interactive? Can we create? Okay, yeah, yeah. Of course, why not? We can, we can, we can uh, training model using AR. Of course, we can. Uh, that I have. That I already share you that particular. AR model. I have multiple information. If uh, the students are very much interested, I am ready to and delighted uh, to serve myself for the student itself. Very nice potential. Any government using this AR system? Yes, sir. As I already put up about that, I also have my patent. You can search it by using Dr. Rahul Pete on Google. Uh, yeah, entire area is new. Uh, of course, we'll share a PPT itself. Pilot base. Uh, yeah, of course. It's a research base. Uh, we can do a P uh, PhD, we can uh, do a patent itself and then patent can be commercialized and that commercialized patent can give it to the government agencies. Numerous government agencies are there, numerous funding agencies are there, so it can be possible. So we can go uh, through such type of uh, uh, like research itself. Can we use this technology in detecting the marketing quality of the far products? Yes, sir, that I already put up about the quality. We have a trained machine database that can be compared with your real database that can be possible that I already put up in my slides itself and that easily uh, we can do. I have taken lecture on new areas. This is nice presentation. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Nathrai, sir, Dr. Nathrai, sir. Thank you very much. It was very nice interaction with all you guys and it is a really um, humble request to all you. I am ready to serve. Ankur, sir, is uh, very, very polite and very down to earth person. So uh, that 
as I'm, I'm, I'm also, and I can serve myself wherever I am. I can serve myself to the students for my student itself, for your student itself. I can deliver my lecture to the student and then, then they can uh, like earn and learn policy we can do and then student can get the benefit. That uh, is my philosophy. So you can search it by using uh, Dr. Rahul Pete. This is my uh, LinkedIn account. Uh, this is my, uh, we can say that website, rahulmpete.com. And you can search it, my uh, like web page itself, even though my blog site itself, you can go through, you can note it down my mobile number and uh, you can, anytime you can contact me. Uh, this is from my side. Thank you very much. जी 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 बस अब सारे सारे पार्टिसिपेंट्स अगर नॉलेज के नॉलेज के साथ खुश हैं तो मुझे बहुत खुशी होगी जी डॉक्टर जी डॉक्टर थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी बाकी बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद सर प्रेजेंटेशन के लिए और इन पार्टिसिपेंट्स का एक लेक्चर बचा हुआ है 12 जून का है ना जी तो 12 जून का लेक्चर जो है वो मैं जानकारी दे दूंगा कि आप लोगों को असाइनमेंट सबमिट करना है कि लेक्चर होगा इन लोगों का असाइनमेंट सबमिट करना होगा आप लोगों को लेक्चर होगा वो मैं बता दूंगा ठीक है सभी पार्टिसिपेंट्स लीव कर सकते हैं बहुत-बहुत धन्यवाद पुनः आपके साथ बहुत-बहुत धन्यवाद धन्यवाद सर थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू सर